Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 1975 and welcome to another Fat Friday video. Series of videos where I take a look at some more interesting things you can find to eat in the high street. I uh, apologise once again for the boiler clock and the uh, sound of the boiler itself because I personally don't know why it's even on today. I know I say that a lot of times um, but I like to film this video in the kitchen as well so it does kind of make a problem with me doing it but yeah it's warm positively warm spring is basically here which means summer comes next which means i'm going to be depressed till october anyway let's not worry about that pavlov's dogs pavlov's dogs it wouldn't be a video would it if i wasn't drowning in salivation immediately to be fair it is 25 to 2 and this is my genuine lunch and i am absolutely ravenous all i've had to eat today is a full big ass tin of beans on toast uh, with cheese on that, obviously, because I'm not a monster. But yeah, I'm absolutely starving. It's been long enough, I believe, for me to be able to try chicken wings again. Because, obviously, if you remember, the last time I tried chicken wings was when I coated them myself with the Firefly Reavers Carolina Reaper hot rub. Safe to say, that's the hottest chicken wings I have ever had uh, that I made myself or bought in a supermarket. The lights come back on. Not sure why it's come back on. Why do you mock me such? But um, it is preheated. It's preheated for 200 degrees Celsius for we care not for the Fahrenheit. What do I have? Well, you've seen the thumbnail and you've read the descriptive term. I have Chiquito Piri Piri Chicken Wings. Chicken wings in a Piri Piri marinade with a sachet of Piri Piri sauce. Hot. Now, you'll know from this series of videos that I have done Chiquito stuff before. Chiquito is a Tex-Mex restaurant that's been knocking around in this country since 1989. I'm pretty sure this country is not the origin of the company. And the nearest one to me is out in Cribs Causeway, which is a bloody long way for me to drive just for Mexican food. Fortunately, Iceland have us covered, don't they, with their exclusive Chiquito range. I've eaten a bunch of stuff um, from their range, and for the most part, it is pretty good. Dying here. Dying here. I have tried their habanero wings, which, um, they were nice. They were warm, they were nice, but they weren't nuclear hot, I would say. And they were rated volcanic, because if you look on here, it's got a three chilli rating and it says hot. Their rating is mild hot volcanic but something's changed along the way because these say hot but they have a three chili rating but the volcanic ones also have a three chili rating so hopefully then these are as hot as the volcanic ones which were the habanero ones as i just said which weren't that hot don't know <laughs> hopefully they are hot i hope they're hot as does robert robert says hello hello um but i love chicken wings i absolutely love and adore chicken wings and because i nuke them you know i literally you know 1.21 gigawatt of them with that shit. Um, should not mean I don't ever try ones from the high streets again. Anyway, these were £3.50, I believe. Maybe even £4. Bought them a couple of weeks ago. No longer have the receipt. This range is quite expensive. All their ranges, you know, like this. The um, TJ Friday's range. The uh, Cathedral City range. Um, they're, they're a premium product. I get that they are a premium product. But then let's not worry about that. Because obviously Iceland has a whole bunch of really cheap stuff you can get there as well. Uh, I really do recommend them. They should just sponsor me, you know, and make it easier. But hey. Um, so anyway. Let's have a quick look at the instructions. Unfortunately, as you can tell, I have preheated that. I have got a baking tray with uh, some baking paper on because I can de do these in the air fryer because obviously there is a sachet, an extra sachet. They're already marinated, so this does bode well. They're already marinated, at least according to this. We'll check on the back with a piri piri sauce. Then I add extra piri piri sauce to them so hopefully they will be hot but because i'm adding um obviously a liquid i can't really do them in the air fryer until i get um 
I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head, but you can buy a liner or not a liner, it's something that you hang in it um, that you use if you're going to use marinade and shit like that because I still have this not going to hang to use. Also, I do have a new addition to Eddie's bar, even though it's rapidly taking over the house, but we'll get to that momentarily. So in order to do these in there, I would need like this lining thing or whatever. I think it's just like silicon and it's like, um, you put it in there and it's just like a silicon uh, bowl or something that comes up to the top. Well, then that does beg the question, how would the air circulate? So obviously, fan of them, doing them in there. Anyway, for best results, cook from frozen but then it gives you immediately defrost options anyway oven from defrost no oven from frozen preheat oven 200 degrees celsius gas mark seven for we care not for the fahrenheit uh, remove all packaging uh, remove unopened sauce sachet uh, place into a bowl no it says unopened sauce sachet into a bowl of hot water probably should use the word place there chiquito um 25 minutes into cooking turn the wings evenly drizzle the contents of the sauce sachet over and fully coat return to the oven for a further five minutes to serve before serving stir to coat wings evenly with the sauce that made bugger all sense i think it means just basically cover the sauce all over them i don't have anything to do it with uh this could be quite painful um i used to have one of those little brushes but i don't know what happened to it used to being the operative phrase anyway ingredients uh, cooked marinated chicken wings chicken wings sugar tapioca starch dried glucose uh, dried glucose syrup acidity regulators sodium and citrate citric acid sodium carbonates not seeing hot shit anytime soon um, tomato powder garlic powder cayenne um, powders that's there hmm I can smell them through the bag, and there is a pinch of poke coming through the bag, so, yeah, anyway. Cayenne powder, salt, onion powder, yeast extract, marmite, nice. Um, parsley, caramelized sugar, chilli powder, paprika powder, bird's eye, chilli, ground black pepper, paprika extract. So there's a whole chunk of heat down there, so you know what, maybe that'll be alright. How big is the bag? 600 grams. Uh, and where are the traffic lights? I cannot find the traffic lights. Basically, your nutritional information is there. That's for you to read. I don't really have to worry about that because I've got a tape one called Robert. Anyway, let's open these bad boys. I can really smell them through the bag, actually. Really smell them through the bag. Let's open these bad boys up and put them on the, uh, on the tray and see what they smell like in person. But... Almost fell over there. Just thought you should know. Pokey. Pokey. They do smell pokey. Hmm. Oh, wait, hang on. Hey, they haven't stimped with the sachet um, of sauce. Do I have any hot water? Hang on one moment. Someone just made tea. No, I don't have any hot water. Bollocks to that. We'll worry about that once we've got these out of the bag but before we do that let's take a look at what i've got in eddie's bar welcome to eddie's bar two things in eddie's bar this week first of all i just bought this i have not opened it this was in b m cajun seasoning shaker and it was 70p i believe i don't know if that's a mistake uh, i haven't got my receipt to confirm it but it definitely said obviously it's got the two you know, hatch openings on the top, so you can either cake it in shit or just sprinkle it on gently. I'm a cake it in shit man myself. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it said 70p. Uh, and I was sold for that. Like I said, massively running out of room on Eddie's Bar. But if it's 70p, I'm going to give that at home. That's not mine. Apricot conserve. Don't eat jam. Not a fan. Anyway, I also got, which isn't in Eddie's Bar, but probably because it's taken up a massive amount of room sorry about that super noodle but i finally caved and bought the other flavor as you can see i've got the hot and spicy fiery one and this stuff is amazing and you can use it in an air fryer if you get the balance um, perfectly right but yeah so this is just original chicken uh, mix and it's not hot but it's got a really strong savory taste to it but i was so impressed with the um the regular 
and the Peri Peri, which is down there in amongst my massive collection of Marmite products. I am only mortal after all. Yeah, I thought I'd give this a try and I was not disappointed. So you can go back in there, as can you, your lunch actually, next week. Um, but yeah, also, I got a couple of bags of crisps because I'm trying to have a different bag um, every week uh, at work. You know, like a big bag, to, as I said, to make it so I can get through to quarter past three. And M&S are working out quite well for me. Chorizo and red pepper tortillas. No idea what they're like, but all their other tortillas, chili ones, habanero ones and stuff like that, have got form. £1.50. And the other one I got was going with the old school flavour, which is Worcester um, sauce, because ah, I love Worcester sauce, but hopefully because this is Marks and Spencer and therefore a bit more expensive, um, it should be really, really strong. Anyway, also the weather. Yeah, it's 15 degrees out there. So no idea why that is on, um, but it's 15 degrees out there, but it's rained the last two days, absolutely tanked it down. It's supposed to properly tank it down tonight which is great because obviously i have to go to bed and flip my hours and it's going to tank down all next week so mwah, that's my favorite kind of weather anyway what's pissed me off this week um i was reading in the paper online this morning that oxfam the charity um have printed a 92 page inclusivity guide for everyone who works in their company and in their charity shops um, so they don't offend anyone and as you could imagine it's woke as shit once again these people are pandering to the minority and it gets on my tits but what a couple of the absolute peaches in there that's right at the start of this inclusivity guide they apologize uh, that it is printed in english because um they understand that english is the language of a colonizing nation you're like the majority of your your you know your employees speak English as a first language. So what? Uh, then also, um, apparently, this is a favour of mine. Um, you can't refer to um, expectant mothers as expectant mothers anymore. Um, assuming one comes into your store, you have to call them pregnant women because expecting mothers um, is just praise on gender stereotyping. Seriously, when is this shit gonna burn itself out i'm convinced in 20 years time people will look back on this whole thing and just go fuck me it was a madness anyway as i saw in the comment section beneath this article uh, and myself will be doing the same thing congratulations a shit ton of us and i love charity shops but a shit ton of us are no longer gonna shop there i mean seriously concentrate on raising money for charity not your fucking obsession with political correctness and being a bunch of woke dickheads anyway let's get back to the food. So, as I said, these smell pokey as you like. Um, they're not huge. I think the frosting on them is just because of my freezer. But you can see some colour. You can see some colour. And like I said, um, there is. It's halfway through the ingredients, but there is some potential for heat on them. Um, how many do we get? Four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. I am obviously going to eat all of them. Ten. Oh, hang on. Eleven, twelve. Is that? That's it. Twelve. Is that much? Or too few? I should say for four quid. Three. I'm pretty sure it's three fifty, not four quid. But they do smell pokey. So let's bang these in the oven. Where is my phone? We got to do these for twenty five minutes, and then we take them out, put the sauce on them turn them over so obviously the entire duration is 30 minutes but much i want it now so there we go boom don't know why i show that i'm sure you can uh, trust me so in the oven Ooh, did he get away with it i think i did probably because there's no food in there yet so you bad boys go in top shelf 25 minutes and which means it should be round about, well, round about, it'll be quarter past, uh, it's a bit late for lunch for me. Hang in there, Robert, hang in there. Quarter past uh, two, when we have to add the marinade. Where's the marinade? There's the marinade. This is just hot tap water. I've run it, you know, for um, 30 seconds or so. I couldn't be bothered to boil the kettle. But I mean, 
that should be good enough. If not, I'll then I'll have to boil the girl. But you don't need to know any of that. So see you at quarter past two. So we're coming up to 25 minutes. What does it smell like in here? Well, worryingly, it doesn't smell that strong of particularly anything. I can tell that something chicken based is being cooked. But I'm not getting, I mean, obviously the door on this oven is not fucked like it was on the old one. You know, so obviously we'll get a better impression when I open it. But there's no really strong smell of any level of heat in that whatsoever, which is a little bit concerning. However, 30 seconds to go. How is my sauce? Right, suddenly, that doesn't look like a massive amount of sauce, does it? Let's dry that bad boy off. A um, little bit worried about how I'm going to marinate these without uh, burning myself horrifically because I don't have a brush as I mentioned at the start of this video. Right, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. Still, patience Robert, only what, five, one, five minutes to go. There we are, right, pause. Let's get this bad boy out of the oven. Hopefully, hopefully there's going to be a big burst of, um, well, heat, or the smell of heat I should say when I crack this bad boy open. Right. Did I get away with it? No! How? That's both my camera and my glasses. Now they just smell like regular, ooh, they look pretty good though, don't they? Yeah, they just smell like regular chicken wings, but I'm not gonna lie, they look utterly fantastic. I'm absolutely ravenous now. Are they stuck? Yes. Right, I'm going to stick them all closely together. That one felt well fatty. Not a massive fan of fatty chicken wings. But yeah, because obviously I'm going to drizzle the uh, the marinade on them. Um, but how do they look? How do they look? Bearing in mind we've got five minutes to go. Package. I'll flatten that, shall I? Package. Product. Package. Product. Right, so let's... Uh, Ow, 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 ow. Let's get this bad boy on them. I wish they just, like, I understand, like, they're going to be marinated twice, but I can't help but feel that. Why don't you just, if you're buying them and it says hot, then you know that you want hot wings. So just stick that on them anyway, so I just have to bang them in the oven. Do you know what I mean? It's lunch. I can't be fucking around with shit like this. It's like Lego when it should be food. don't know why I put the, uh, the scissors away, but, yeah, get these little... Closer together. Um, I do this in such a way I don't spill it and waste any of the sweet, sweet, precious, life giving peri peri sauce. So, if anyone wants to explain to me down below what the difference between peri peri and peri peri is, by all means, go ahead. Fuck me, that's runny. That's a bit. Yeah. Why aren't you thicker? That does smell pretty. Actually, that smells very, very citrusy. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, to be fair, I am obviously horrifically burning myself now. Uh, and I forgot that we do have to turn them over. Hopefully they will um, broil away in the sauce. Ow, 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 wow, wow. Because yeah, like I said, I forgot to turn them. But, is that one of them? I think so. Screw it. Yeah, why is the sauce so runny? I was expecting it more to be kind of like, you know, this sort of buffalo sauce where it's thick. So you can put it on like a proper marinade. That smells very, very nice. That does not smell very, very hot. And, um, yeah, it smells like a friggin' cocktail when it comes to citrus. Right, hopefully, this is going to be enough. Get all of it out. To give it some level of heat. Like I said, I know it's not going to be like when I made my wings. But it's got to be hot. Come on. I mean, come on. You said hot. Don't like it when products lie to me. You go in there. Wash that shit up there. I think I just got it on my Mortal Kombat shirt. Bollocks. And let's bang this bad boy back in the oven. Right, are you hot? No, you're not hot. Good. Right, so five more minutes, still on 200 degrees Celsius, what we care not for the Fahrenheit. I think that's got to be enough. I think it's safe to say that there is a decent coating 
on all of those. Hopefully, five minutes will be enough for it to uh, crisp it up and dry up. Right, I might, I don't know, I'll wing it. You'll know how long I gave it when we come back. Definitely more of a hot smell going on now, but still nothing that I would describe as nuclear. And there's definitely more of a citrusy smell going on, but then that might just be my open door. The first time around, we're coming up to 30 minutes and 29 seconds. So we're going to do this for 31 minutes. Uh, I just want the sauce. I mean, what does it look like? I don't want it to be dripping in sauce. I want it to kind of like dry up and firm up in a bit and stuff like that. So while we wait for that, fire extinguisher of choice. Um, still, still sticking with the um, diet, Vive, Tropical Blast, zero sugar, because I don't want to get fat, nor does Robert's, um, knock off Lilt. But then as I said previously, I can't say Lilt anymore because they, the Wokes already claimed that because apparently it's, um, it's an outdated stereotype image of the Caribbean that we're not allowed to have anymore. Whatever happened to nostalgia and Anger shit for the sense of shit. Right, let's get these bad boys out. Gonna need you. Right, so come on, please, please, please. Your chicken wings. I believe in you. Who did he? Well, my phone didn't go, but my uh, my glasses did. I don't know. I don't know. Shut you. You go off. What do you look like? Well, apparently, they don't marinate it twice on the packaging right so we're gonna transfer those to that there and hopefully this will be winner winner chicken wing dinner i'm gonna horrifically burn myself probably well it's not massively runny i understand that the marinating process um that's entirely on me so see i like it when it goes like this it's not burnt it's character but yeah, so, ow, 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 Where it's pulled up on the plate, that's where it's fucking nuclear. They're not the worst looking chicken wing I've ever had. They're not the best looking chicken wing I've ever had. It was the worst times, it was the best times. Mother fucker, that's hot. Whew. I'm aware that I'm totally wearing the wrong colour shirt for this. You can be open and you can go back in the shop. Right. There's still not a massive amount of heat coming off these. Uh, like I said, I get confused between Peri Peri and Peri Peri, but surely they should both be hot. And it has a three chili rating hot on the bag and says hot, but they also have a three chili rating, as I said at the start of the video, that says volcanic, but dying die surely therefore these should be hot we'll take this one here because he's nice and crispened up and basically come on chiquito i'm looking at the bag come on chiquito you have form you do you're not the hottest shit i've ever had but you do have form not necessarily with your other chicken wings i tried but anyway uh two tears in a bucket fuck it right Back and my throat's gone. Ooh! First things first. Um, it's not fatty. I thought they were going to be fatty. Maybe that's just this one. But they're not fatty. But. Ooh, back of the throat. A little bit on my lips now. It's not bearable. Um, almost nothing for me. But the back of the throat's quite hot. Obviously, the chicken burgers I've had last week, this is way kicking their ass. I am pleasantly surprised. There's more kick than I thought there would be. Because the end of my tongue's got a little bit of a tingle. The back of my lips has got a little bit of a tingle. And my back of my throat... It's definitely got a little bit of a burn going on. However, I would say <coughs> ooh, 
they're no hotter or no cooler than their volcanic habanero wings and you would expect habanero to be hotter than that so that's a praise for them to be fair and a condemnation for the habanero ones but there's heat in there there's heat in there um obviously i'm a refined beast um so i'm not having any problem with that whatsoever it'd be interesting in future if i bring someone else in who doesn't have any tolerance of heat whatsoever so they could also try this product next to me to see what they think but yeah back of my uh lips are on fire the end of my tongue's on fire now on the back of my throat's on fire but it's certainly certainly far from unbearable even though it was in the ingredients when i read the back of the bag don't worry i'm gonna do some more uh, and obviously um you could smell it a little too citrusy for me i don't know if that is a peri peri thing but literally the first bite before i got any level of heat and got to chew into the chicken was citrus like i said not it's not that I dislike it, it's just I don't want it to be the predominant overpowering flavour in hot wings. Anyway, butter cleanse. Let's go for another bad boy. Excuse me, Winnie Pops. Let's go for a bit of a bigger one. I don't want to get this on my lovely shirt. Anyway, two tears in the bucket. It's thickened up the sauce, definitely. See, there it is again. First hit, citrus. It is really, really lean chicken. Back of the throat. It's like, is that a little bit of a sniffle? There is heat there. And it's very lean, nice chicken. <clears throat> Literally no fat on it. And I'm definitely, definitely feeling heat. I think my nose has gone a little bit. Maybe I've just destroyed myself ever since I made my custom, you know, um, Carolina Reaper ones. Oh, my throat's getting a little bit more burning. I would recommend them. They are decent, decent chicken wings. To be fair, excuse me, talking my mouthful, pig, where are my manners? They're definitely hotter than, if you ever go to any supermarket's chilled section own brands, such as Sainsbury's, Tesco's, and Asda, and Morrison's, because I've tried all their own, um, you know, chicken wings, whether they're just, like, marinated but like this, or they have breadcrumb on the outside. It's definitely hotter than all of those, and I would argue it probably tastes better. It's just... For a brand that's based on a Mexican, Mexican restaurant chain, I would expect them to be hotter. But then having said that, they are, um, I would say they're definitely warmer than a habanero. So there's a weird reverse thing going on there, because obviously habanero should be hotter than piri piri, shouldn't it? Excuse me, Winnie Pops. I would recommend them. Like I said, they're better than pretty much every supermarket's own chicken wing. I just wish they were a little bit hotter, but there's definite heat there, and there's definite taste there, and it's, you know, like I said, it's really nice lean chicken, um, but I would leave them in a little bit longer as well, so they blacken up a little bit more, but I think they've overdone it with the citrus. But the more I eat, the more the heat is building. There's that massive blast of citrus again. Do you know what, Chiquito? They aren't bad. They're expensive, £3.15. You only get 600 grams. They aren't bad. And there is heat there. And I can feel it building. It's finally hit my chest after three wings. But seriously, dial back the citrus. It's like being punched in the face by a fucking orange when all I want to do is eat a hot chicken wing. Anyway, as always, I'd love to know what you think. Firstly, if you have tried these and the habanero, um, how do you think they compare? Presumably this is something that's actually available in their chain of restaurants as well. Yeah, the heat's building. The heat's definitely building. They are nice. They had potential to be a lot better though. But as always, I'd love to know what you think. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you later.